Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a great week last week. I hope you enjoyed my recipe, eggplant especially. And uh, please subscribe and like and share, please. It's very important that I see you subscribing. It will make help, uh, help me a lot. Anyway, stay safe please. And today I'm making a tomato sauce. We're making pasta and shrimp. So, tomato sauce first. Today recipe is very simple. Half onion diced. All right, we have a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of garlic paste. We have um, cayenne, chili, dry uh, parsley, and uh, some uh, oregano. And we have pine nuts roasted. We have anchovy. All the recipe will be on the screen. I have caper, sun-dried tomato, parmesan, and fresh tomato, and a cup of tomato paste. All right. So, to start with, the color. So, if you come here, we have clarified butter here. It's, I'll show you one day how to do clarified butter. Temperature is perfect. Uh, the difference between butter and clarified butter is that the butter, clarified butter takes longer to uh, burn. So, you want that for a good sauce. I'm going to put the onion, as you can see it, and you can hear it. And the meat and the garlic paste. The garlic is fresh paste. I, I pasted it myself this morning. All right, and just mix the garlic and the onion together. You want the onion to be caramelized. That make a huge difference in our recipe. And the butter, of course, because the butter is clarified butter, it will give the, it will not burn. However, I like to drizzle a little bit of olive oil just to make sure. There we go. And as you can see, it's drizzling. So did you guys do any cooking last week? Did you have any good meals that you want to share on my web? All right, here we go. All right, I just mix it really well. It take about four minutes for the onion to caramelize, and then we'll be back. All right, guys, welcome back. So it's about five to six minutes. The onion is caramelized, as you can see. It's very, the smell is beyond amazing, the garlic and the onion. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, put the roasted pine nuts, okay, and I'm going to put the caper, the anchovy paste, I want that bold flavor, okay, it's going to mix, there we go, I mean, I wish, I hope you get to do this recipe because the smell is amazing, okay, so I want the tomato paste to be kind of cooked and like it has that flavor of cooked tomato so I put the tomato paste first okay about a minute just mix it really well okay there you go no water there's no need for the water at all okay I'm gonna put the sun-dried tomato again it enriches the flavor there you go medium heat so it doesn't over burn, overcooked. All right, here we go. La, 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 la. You can hear it's bubbling, so it's good. Medium heat is working really well on it. Of course, pine nuts, the caper, the anchovy paste. This is all very bold flavor. No salt at all. I didn't put any salt in this recipe. Because the anchovy is salty, caper is salty, and you can balance that later on when you taste it. And you can say, okay, I need some salt or no salt. It's about four minutes for the tomato to kind of give you like a sauteed the tomato paste. That's what I'm trying to do right now with the onion and the garlic. I'm um, standing here and the smell is really good. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna add the tomato. Again, the recipe will be on the screen. I'm adding all the spices. Yeah. And I have like six leaves of basil just for the flavor. I'm gonna put basil and Parmesan at the end. But right now, so as you can see this, I'm cooking all this. Here you go. 
Now what I'm going to do is once once the tomato kind of uh, sauteed, I'm going to put one cup of warm water on it. Okay, you don't want to put cold water because that will drop down the sauce temperature. You want to keep the temperature high. Okay, so you want to put warm water or hot water. Okay, so mix it really well right now. I mean, I love the smell. We're going to cover it and we'll be back. Hi right, guys. Welcome back. All right, so as you can see, it's very simmered. It's amazing. We just tried it again. It's great. So this is a tomato paste. I just put that cup of water, hot water. I'm just going to go like this. Mix. Okay. Mix it really, really well. And like we said, we're going to put it for medium heat. For another 20 minutes and we'll be back to show you the sauce when we make the pasta all right we'll be back so that's about 15 minutes that the tomato is a paid tomato pasta sauce is simmering so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to add fresh parsley okay there you go some more parmesan now i'm going to let it simmer for five more minutes let's see you don't need any water in it anything else it has i put a drizzle of olive oil as well Olive oil really gives the acidity of the tomato sauce and make it tasty. All right, so as you can see, mixed it really well. There you go. All right, we're gonna give it five more minutes and the tomato sauce is ready. Hi guys, so we did the tomato sauce already. The pasta is cooked. The shrimp is marinated for two hours with whatever spices you like to put. I prefer salt, pepper, cumin, and coriander, and chili. And then this is, I made the garlic butter melted. I put the shrimp on it. I put some dill, all right? I have tomato diced right here. So I'm gonna put some tomato dice like this. There you go. The smell is amazing, of course. And another trick that I did for the pasta, if you come right here, I'll show you. So what I did is I put some clarified butter after I uh, pasta, don't wash the pasta. I just put clarified butter on it, okay? Don't, no olive oil. The reason is that if you put olive oil on the pasta, then the sauce is not gonna stick to it. Okay, it'll be oily. So, but put uh, fat, the fat is butter, clarified butter. So, that's it, we'll come back, we'll mix the dish in front of you. Hi guys, welcome back. Pasta is done, shrimp is done, but now it's time to taste and see how it goes. So here we go. So, as I said before, the pasta, I just mix it in clarified butter after I dump the water. So we're gonna put one, two, there you go, three spoons of pasta, okay. The tomato sauce, as you can see right here. Here we go. Wow, it looks very good. It's not saucy, it's perfect. All right, so we're gonna put it, here we go. Okay, right. and this. All right, guys. So here we go. So this is the tomato sauce, the pasta, and then the shrimp is right here. Okay, and we'll take like four or five shrimps like this. Put them on the top of that. Okay, we're gonna take some Parmesan cheese on the top. Parmesan always so good. There we go some fresh parsley okay now before you eat it mix it with the sauce and bon appetit there you go shrimp pasta with fresh tomato sauce made at home enjoy all right guys here we go pasta shrimp with fresh tomato sauce and ba fresh basil and parmesan i'm gonna try it okay i haven't had pasta for a long time so here we go Bite. It's heaven. I really hope you make it. It's amazing. Perfect salt and chuvi gives the pasta sauce a very bold flavor with the caper, parmesan, the fresh tomato, the sun dried, all those uh, ingredients just made it amazing pasta sauce. Oh, we haven't tried the shrimp yet. So the shrimp has a tail. My goodness. What I did to the shrimp, 
it was very simple. I marinated it for two hours, like I said, and I put clarified butter, garlic paste, and I let the garlic for three minutes, no more than that. I laid down all the shrimps, and then I put uh, some tomato, like you saw in the video, and I put some uh, breadcrumbs, mix them really well, and I put a tiny, tiny amount of water, and that's the result that you saw in the video. Bon appetit, I'll see you next time. Have an amazing day. Please subscribe and share.